And I know this is the 4 o'clock Mass, so I won't take the time to go into all of these, the episodes, all of the movies, and make this a midnight Mass. <laughs> but I do just want to highlight something that I think gets at the heart of my Christmas message for us all this year. We know in the story, hopefully you know something about Star Wars. You know it's a movie, right? Yeah. Okay, good. We can go with that. And there's this character, Luke Skywalker, right? And he's becoming a what? A Jedi Knight. He's becoming a Jedi Knight. But eventually, he's, he's fighting up against the evil empire, right? And Darth Vader. But what happens eventually? They're trying, the evil empire is trying to convince Luke Skywalker to join the dark side, to fill his heart with hatred, and to join them and become violent, and to kill Darth Vader. But what was the trouble with that? Darth Vader was his father. Darth Vader was his father. Did I just spoil it for somebody? Okay, that was 1983. Just saying, that's before I was born. <laughs> you guys should really get out more. <laughs> but you know, Luke doesn't hurt his father, even though his father's been hurting him and had joined the dark side. Instead, he has mercy upon him. And he refuses. And then after that, the emperor tries to kill Luke. But do you know what happens? Darth Vader, Anakin, rediscovers his love for his son and sacrifices himself to save his son. And in his dying words, as Luke said to his father, let me take you, I want to save you. And his father says, you already have, and dies. For us, the Christmas message is not so dissimilar, because it's the message that God had the chance, he looks at the world, he sees all that's wrong in it, he sees all that's right in it, he looks at it, he's got all the options in the world, and what does he choose to do? He chooses mercy. He chooses to send his only son as a sacrifice. He chooses to send his baby boy to us. He didn't choose to wipe us out or to increase violence or to do anything else. He chose to have mercy on us. You know, Pope Francis has declared this year of 2016 to be a year of mercy. And he's encouraged all of us to adopt mercy as a lifestyle. To become merciful with those who have hurt us. To become merciful with ourselves. And even to become merciful in some ways with God, who we may feel has let us down. Each and every one of us are in a quest, not necessarily to become a Jedi Knight, but indeed to become great. And that true measure of greatness is to be like God, who is merciful. And so this Christmas, the greatest gift we could receive or give is forgiveness. Mercy. Compassion towards one another. For we know that our world is fighting. And there is much conflict and much that one could even be worried about. Seriously so. And we, like God the Father, are looking upon the same planet Earth and are left with that same choice as our Heavenly Father and as Luke Skywalker. 
What will we choose? Will we choose mercy? Or will we choose vengeance? Jesus' birth happened 2,000 years ago, but it happens every day in our lives as well. And at Christmas, we renew his birth into our lives so that we can take up his force within us and his way of service and of sacrifice and of protecting and of loving people. And this is what makes all the difference in our world. And this light has come into the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it, unless we allow it to be so in our hearts. And so this Christmas night, as we welcome once more the Savior into our world, let us do so with joy and not be tempted to go to the dark side. For we know that mercy dwells among us and that that mercy is just what the world needs to unite it, that our families need mercy to unite them, that our world needs mercy more than anything else. And so this Christmas night, let us accept it into our lives. And at the end of Mass, I'll have a particular challenge for you. So stay tuned. <laughs>